So we got a new Let's Play. I asked on YouTube what you guys wanted to see me play after Metal Gear Solid 2, and it was very, very close between this and Fear Effect. So I guess I'm going to replace Silent Hill 2 with, or Silent Hill 4 with Fear Effect eventually. But this one just barely edged out the last second. So we're going to be playing some XCOM Chimera Squad. I actually did get this game on release, and I played it for maybe about an hour, like the beginning area. Um, and then, because I was originally wasn't going to put this on the Let's Play list, but then I decided, you know what, this this seems like the kind of game I should Let's Play. Or at least stream, but I guess we're Let's Playing it. So anyway, we're going to start a game. Story, for the paper for players new to tactical games who just want to experience the game narrative, I just challenging but fair for XCOM veterans looking for a challenge. Technically, I would be an expert, because I've played the crap out of, um, out of XCOM 2. But we're going to stick to normal because I always stick to normal. I learned we only play games on normal for the Let's Plays. Okay. Iron Man, no. Hardcore, no. Adds decreasing the strategic... Decreasing strategic... Adds five levels to the city's anarchy meter, decreasing the strategic difficulty of the game. Tutorial, yes, we'll keep the tutorial on. Show subtitles, yes. Sets how much, if any, health will be healed for free between encounters. Okay. Just for my own sanity, we're gonna have Extended City Anarchy on. <laughs> Cause again, the stress of a let's play, I'm I'm being a little nice to myself. I'm being a little nice to myself. Don't judge me. <laughs> Two minutes out. Hey. Godmother. Hey. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? Heh. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. <laughs> XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. Rude. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. I wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? Rude. I find that very hurtful. <laughs> sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the There's the aliens on our side now. never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3 1 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. They're called Chimera Squad because they're made up of multiple different species. I did remember that much from my little bit of Whisper, playing. What's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. <laughs> he, uh, he hailed a cap. Wow. <laughs> Focus. Hailing a cap to a hostile situation. Any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Okay. Breach mode. Chimera Squad begins every mission by setting up at breach points to get the jump on enemies. Preview the enemy presence at each breach point and modifiers will be applied. Then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order they enter the fight. Okay. I assume I... There's only one breach point, so I guess we're putting everybody here. Stay behind me. Sup! Uh... Breach fire, fire shot at target. I can fire over there, or I can fire over there. I'll fire at this one. Get him! Wait, what? <laughs> the, the angling for that just looked weird. Okay. Response level surprise. And if they're surprised, you have an easier time hitting them in the butt. Hello. I am Mayor Nightingale. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, blah, blah. It sounds History. like Shepard. Focus. <laughs> Is that Jennifer Hale? <laughs> um, turns are moving, enemy. Okay, so instead of it being you take everybody's turn, it looks like it's individual. So it's this person and this person, the blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what's the best place for me to put them? Probably there. Found a better position. And then... The Ayo! The Hostile's gone. Okay, action's available too. 
I don't know if I'll be able to hit them from there. No, but I can put them on overwatch. Oh shit, I put I forgot his directional overwatch in this. Damn it! <laughs> you missed the shield! It's fine, it missed. Yeah, overwatch isn't an everywhere thing now. It's directional. Yeah. Target down. Nice. You see this? Sort of like XCOM 2 light. Interesting. Uh oh. Bruh. Contact. We got a psionic! He's on our team. And he took a cab to get here because he can't drive. <laughs> Verge? Ah, <sighs> what took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Uh -huh. Man, not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Oh, that's so cute. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes, I can feel them. Okay. So now we have to breach the next room. Breach mode. Two to the main door. Two to the side door. Okay, multiple breach points in turn order. Some encounters offer more than one breach point with different risks and benefits. Consider to split the squad or send them all through the same location. Ages anything from the same breach point will enter the encounter together and be closer in the timeline. The order of the breach points enters, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This one, agent damage likely. Last unit through this entrance does plus three damage during the breach. Enemy steal plus one damage during the breach. So here, I probably want to send him because he has the shield. Um, I really want to send her as well. Because they seem to be the more tanky. And I'll send these two up here. Yes. Breaching in. <laughs> it's go time. Hi! How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Okay, then she takes him out. Excellent. Okay, you take out that one. You take out that one so he doesn't hit us in the butt. Ow! Don't you hit Godma. Don't you hit God Mama. <laughs> Rude. Agent abilities. Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn, gain, eventually getting more abilities from the class and equipment. Most agents have the subdue ability, and non-lethal attack that is low damage but guaranteed to hit. Used to earn additional rewards for certain mission objectives. Cherub uses the charge bash ability instead of subdue, because he has the shieldy shieldy. Okay, kinetic shield, and one charge in the issue. Prevent all damage from the next attack. Okay. Or just... Hostile out of play. Wait, or is that Lil is that Liara's voice actor? It's it sounds like Liara. it might sound like Liara now. Um Damn it. <laughs> Failed to subdue. Do it again. Hit him with hit him in the butt. And stay down. Hit him in the butt. Subdue is nice because it gives you stuff at the end of the mission, if I remember correctly. Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make an entrance. I like Cherub. <laughs> okay. Special breach points. Some breach points can only be accessed with specific equipment or abilities once an agent is required. Um, with the required asset is in the first slot, the other agents can be assigned to them. So you need somebody who can place charges and then we place the rest so we're just going through this wall got it it's gonna end well wait hold hostage confirmed in the next room we need more than that free one pd has a live feed patching through if you surrender i will advocate leniency <laughs> enough this exhibit it is about xcom's role in our liberation i see you read the placard it doesn't say how they went soft and got weak now, it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go, now! Uh-oh. How's this for an entrance? 
also by they got weak as in they let aliens join them and stuff, I assume. Bonk. 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 Well, I dropped most of them at once. <laughs> I'll protect you. No, I'm not sweet. Check Jesus! <laughs> I'll protect you immediately down. On it. Birch, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. See, I know they did that on purpose. I was like, I'll protect you immediately bleeding out. I know that that's on purpose. It's still funny though. That was not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> Hostiles, okay. up. Battle Madness, Stupor, and add them to the neural network. Uh, no. You? Go over here so you can see the other one. Now we'll use Stupor. Your thoughts are mine. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay. Gremlin stabilize on Cherub. Because she's our Healy heals. Except she can't really heals. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't where I wanted to go. Oops. <laughs> oh well. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, Overwatch? Really, bro? Really. Is this what you really wanted to do, my friend? Because uh, you're about to have a really bad time. On the move. Because Overwatch is not as OP as it was in the original. Sup? Subdued the hostile. Cherub, are you still with us? Yeah, I think so. Only thing injured is my pride. Ha! And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. Dun, dun, dun. Assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. So it's us versus right racists. You're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Damn straight. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Package delivered to 31 PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't jinx it. Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... Yeah! Yep, she did! It's <laughs> bad <laughs> luck. <laughs> you jinxed it. <laughs> you jinxed it and now she did. <laughs> you jinxed it and now she did. Look what you did, bruh. Look what you did. You done goofed. perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The City Council asks citizens to remain- So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad hey! to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Yeah, okay, Alex My Jones. <laughs> Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Dun, dun, dun. But Chimera Squad is awesome. Welcome home. Because Chimera I'm Squad. leading it. The director wants to speak with us. The director. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. They didn't That's get the mayor handsome. killed. You're right. I'm sorry. They did fine. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum. It's Jane Kelly. It's aftermath. From XCOM 2. Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. 
I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 3-1 PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city... <laughs> and then the city fucked up and didn't check for a bomb on the car. You couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. Okay. Welcome to City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. <laughs> Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. 3-1 PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost good officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. Okay. The map is see the status of City 31 and any current targets we can send our squad to respond to. Come here, squad can respond to one target per day, after which the day automatically advances. Okay. And the, uh, view the situation in the downtown district. Okay. It's the only thing I can do, because tutorial. <laughs> Your work with 3-1 PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Well, Does maybe that they did. they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. The progeny, the gray phoenix, and... It's covered. The, 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 I can't read. I can't read the th the sacred coil. <laughs> okay, the progeny, a loose network of human scions. Our mission for 31's features entirely a psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Grey Phoenix is an organization of alien scavengers. They quietly amass the kind of weaponry reclamation is mandated to recover. And sacred coil, an underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. Rude. Okay, my assumption, like my gut instinct is to go against the progeny or Grey Phoenix, one of these two. But go with progeny because they seem very like supremacist. <laughs> the progeny have a small but loyal human membership, all with psionic capability. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need and forget the whole thing perfect crime director these are local criminals isn't that 31 pd's jurisdiction true but they're not doing well agency supports local police but we're also required Ew. to recover dangerous material from those who would do the world harm and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff so what next focus on a single group investigate dismantle their operations and take them down meanwhile we look for any links to the mayor's death Either way, a dangerous organization is off the street. Sounds like a plan. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Okay, tackling investigations. Every investigation has three stages. Groundwork. From this first mission, learn about the faction and their methods. Operations. Hidden missions that must be revealed and then completed to knock out the faction's main plans. Take down. Stop their final attack and end their threat to City 31. Okay. So we don't know anything about the progeny yet. You can select an agent for your squad. Check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Agents assigned here. Could could time with the latest project. version. Okay. What you're looking at is the Illyrium is one of. Shut up, Whisper. <laughs> It'll take time to stress test our patterns, but once we have them, we're good to go. Okay. Illyrium is one of three resources reclamation requires. It is spent to complete projects in assembly. Okay. Grants one android tactical unit, android units, principal supplies, unlocks all, unlocks all entry-level assembly projects. Okay, so that's the one that we're doing there. Crew, you can add a new recruit. 
armory is where we can do loadout, agent abilities, and bar biography, and we can tint their armor. The convinced the city council we're too understaffed mm. to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. Axiom, shelter, or claymore. Axiom is high damage, cover destruction, so he is, he is a Hulk smash. He is Hulk smash. So draw the breach point with a chance to pack name increases with rage. Okay. Psionics, ally buff, and mental attacks. I can be your shield. I can I can't be your weapon, but I'll be your shield. Psionically swaps position with target enemy or ally. Does not automatically end the turn. Disorient. Um, I kinda wanna go with Axiom. But I also want to go with Claymore. Claymore looks good too. Hmm. We'll go with Claymore. Whisper, where is the mess? Claymore. All around you, pal. <laughs> Very funny. I brought a fish curry for the squad. Oh, I like him. You sneak that past headquarters. I like Three him. spare canteens. <laughs> you are the man. <laughs> I'm the man who serves dinner in 15 minutes. I picked the right one. <laughs> I mean, you can make them all look fun, too, but I'll do that between videos. I'm not going to do that in the middle of all this crap. Okay, let's... Yeah, th these are from my first attempt here. Um, corrupted save. Ugh. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> let's get rid of that. Why is it still there? It won't... The corrupted save won't go away. <laughs> I am, I am, I am a concern. <laughs> Come on, I don't want any of these. And eh, you know what, I'll just deal with it later. <laughs> okay. Return. So. Agent's idle. If we have an agent who's idle... Then we can have him there, right? Okay. It cost me money to do missions? <laughs> oh no, it's a reward. Credits are one of three resources rec reclamation requires. They are spent in supply to both buy new items and upgrade existing ones. Hostile forces need leadership to function. If authorized by the director, we may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides va our temporary field office has all the basics: weapons, comms, okay. and ammunition. Trank rounds. Ooh. We request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. I need some mudkip. I need to give mudkip. I need a mudkip. Always need mudkip. And through a security door and auto key card. This is before us breaching charge. Get one of those auto key cards. Let's see here. And I'll get a trank round. Okay. Who's gonna get what? You already have a thing. You, I will give the auto key card. Um, and I'll give you. No, I'll give you the mud cat. I'll give you the med kit. You can have. The trank rounds, and I think that's all I got right now. Okay, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, this is good. This will be fine. I'm sure this will be fine. I'm sure this will be fine. Three one PD asked to speak with this company's owner about his connections to the progeny. That's when his staff pulled weapons. And the police barely made it out. Interesting. That's bad customer service. PD, <laughs> take any hits? Well, they took no casualties. Try to do the same in there. I make no promises. Okay. Side window, low visibility. Enemies are harder to hit. Units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. So entering here, get plus three mobility for one round. Hmm. 
Wait, no, that's enemies are harder to hit. I'm just gonna go for the main door. Yeah, the main door seems to be the best one here. Wait, what? There we go. Main door seemed like the best idea. <laughs> Sup? Bonk. Uh, eh, might be able to take him out. That didn't work very well. And might be able to kill him. A thrall. <laughs> Unconscious. And now there's only one of them, and they're all on Overwatch. Oh, that poor man. <laughs> That's reassuring. Once we're mission, an agent can be moved on the timeline so they can take the next turn. This ability is shared by the entire squad. Preparation grants a defensive bonus and moves the agent's next turn earlier in the timeline. Use this when an agent is caught in a dangerous situation or to coordinate tactics. Okay. She guides me there. Missed the hot <laughs> Dead. Looks like you have that. <laughs> and dead. Hybrids can't move like that. Not since Advent Psionic Network went down. Da, da, da. If they fight as one, they'll make mistakes as one. Little did you know. Okay. A few aggressive enemies present at this entrance. Successful shots on enemies will crit. Let's go for this one. Open sesame. Mm, yeah, that's good. Get him! Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go for the thrall. More likely to actually kill it. That's unconscious. <laughs> it does- I am just in the tutorial. Trust me, it, it gets harder. Trust me. <laughs> From what I remember. It's very, it's very, very tactical, this game. Mm, okay, we gotta make sure we don't hit that dude. <laughs> don't want to hit any of, of the uh, Another call of the, mech. the poor, poor hostages, poor snostages. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> down. Don't see movement. Yay! I did it. Oh, we got more breaching. You're about to enter some offices. Now the owner must be holed up in there. Okay. Let's see here. We can go through the wall. Agent damage likely. Pinpoint shots and enemies will crit. All units entering here are the plus three mobility for one round. Explosive entries. All non-aggressive enemies guarding these entries are surprised. Red last unit through this entry gets plus one armor for the encounter. Yes. I'm putting Verge there because he seems to be the squishiest. He probably needs entrance. the armor. <laughs> because squishy probably needs armor. Bonk. Let's see here. I might be able to kill that one. There we go. Uh, that one's a ways away. So it's sort of like a slightly more, I don't want to say dumbed down version, but slightly more dumbed down version of XCOM 2. You know, it's not really There's dumbed down. There's your VIP. Bring the target down. Okay. And there's our exit point. Mmm, no. Yes. Get him, Cherub! Bonk. I made the arrest. Ew, you're Storm arresting? Uh-oh. I didn't realize he was on Overwatch. I wasn't paying attention. Mm. 
Mm, no. Scatter shot, fire shotgun in a close range cone, damaging multiple enemies. No. Don't have a not don't have enough enemies around me to do that. <laughs> Get him! Close enough. Hostile down. Okay. So I got two. She's a ways away though, which is a problem. Headed where needed. I can try though. Oh no no! Don't hit him. <laughs> Better you than me. Super bad amounts the enemy. I just, just plus ten aim for each enemy in the neural network. Oh, that's interesting. I take you. Bonk. Hostile is under arrest. Rating excellent. The only one who got wounded was Cherub. Eh, poor Cherub. Did it. Done it. Twenty intel learned from cat. Earned from capturing enemies. Assembly complete. Android personnel. Progeny went after expensive assets. What's behind their sudden need for funding? They have no love for. <laughs> yeah, Jane Kelly. Presumes a motive to kill the mayor. As for means, psionics could give them the ultimate insider, a member of Mayor Nightingale's protective detail. Dun dun dun! Vigil confidor. <gasps> okay. That is going to be- An emergency session of the city council voted five to four against a citywide curfew. Okay. Councilor Parada spoke for the majority. There is no need for such extreme measures. Mayor Nightingale's death is a tragedy, but to shut down the city due to fear would reject the very principles by which she lived. Three one cool story, bro. Remains on high alert throughout City 31. Commissioner Maloof released Maloof? the following statement. <laughs> My name is Maloof. Every 3-1 PD officer grieves for Mayor Nightingale. Rest assured, we will bring those responsible to justice. More as it develops. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. <laughs> this is so different than the way that the aliens and stuff are presented in uh, XCOM 2. I love it. But it makes sense. Like, when you have the psionic network is broken and everything's changed and the ethereals, as far as we know, are gone. Like, you're still going to have a shit ton of aliens who are suddenly cut off from their brainwashing and stuff. But... My name is Miss Gary Tanger, and I have been playing some XCOM Chimera Squad. I'll see you all in the next video.